Hi guys, it's Ray. Um, today we are going to start another burst tumbler. Um, I'm going to use the shape tape from Artistry Epoxy again. I was really, really thrilled with how it worked out on the Flamingo Cup. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it slightly differently this time. Um, this is the file I bought this time and um, I have contacted the creator and she is working on it. Her Etsy shop is in, inspired by May Shop, is the name of the shop. I did draw it out first, and while it was drawing, I knew these little center pieces were going to be an issue. So I don't know if you can see, but on some of the smaller pieces, it did lift those already. So the only thing that's going to do is make it so I'm not going to necessarily work darkest to light because I am going to go in and pull them and glitter those first just so my other colors don't stick to it. So on my drawn one, I laid out my color palette and I'm going to use and I'm going to apply them after I use a little bit of the lightest color, which is those pieces that lifted, which my lightest one is chunky sea glass. Uh, my ba background color, I'm going to use Micro Chill Vibes. And then I have Tropics Blue, Denim Blues, and Five Star Fleet. All from It's Pretty Personal this time. So I picked out markers and I colored in and I jotted myself down a cheat. So I can refer to that. And I will glitter in this order once I get past that first little bit that I have to fix. We're going to do this one differently. I have a plain old stainless hog, 20 ounce skinny. I have a piece of vinyl cut. This is StarCraft Permanent. What I am going to do, and don't think I'm crazy, um, is... See, when I peel the backing off, you can see where the pieces are pulled already. That's what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the backing off and apply it to this vinyl. All right, so now that I have it stuck to the vinyl, I am going to go ahead and square it back up using my paper trimmer because I don't want to cut the extra vinyl after it's glittered. The shape tape recommends on the Cricut you cut it on the washi setting. Um, but again, I highly recommend test cuts to see what's going to work for your blades mat and machine. So, do that. Alright, I'm going to start by removing the rest of the little center dots. Just the center dots. The wings are also going to get this blue, but um, I'm not going to address them yet. So, this is going to be time consuming. A lot of them weeded themselves, but... There's clearly quite a few more to go, so um, I'm going to get that done, then you're going to see me put the glitter on.
Okay, so I am completely glittered. I absolutely love this. Before I put it on the cup, um, I'm not completely glittered. I have one little tiny spot. Darn it. I forgot. I knew there was another spot, and I just couldn't figure out where it was. So I was like, oh, maybe there wasn't. No, there was. So that should be this color. I don't want to get that on here. Okay. So. Um, I had to do a little Mod Podge and glitter on this little spot because um, when I applied it to the vinyl, I folded it over a little bit there and forgot. So. Um. But I'm going to take it outside and spray it with Rust-Oleum 2X Gloss Clear. And I'm going to spray it a couple times to set my glitter really well in place. And then I will come back in and we will, you know, get it wrapped on the tumbler. And I do believe once I seal it, I'm actually going to trim it down further. All right, friends, it is time to do the stressful part. Um, I'm going to try this one without using the wet method of application. Um, I'm sure you could do the wet method if you wanted to. Um, but, so I have this pretty much sized the way I want it at this point. Um. I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to try and work smarter, not harder. Um, I'm trying to get my vinyl backer peeled. Just a little bit. Am I out of frame? Try not to get too much glitter on the back here, but I'm going to cut a slice off. I'm not going to tear it because I want it a little more even than I did before. And then I'm going to put that right back on. Okay. So. Now, I'm going to wrap it and see how bad I did. So, that should actually line up pretty well if I, and I am pulling some off. I probably could have let this dry a little bit more. I may have to do a little touch up. I scratched it. So now I'm going to come back in and peel that piece. And I do have, my sizing is still off a little bit. I, no matter what I do, I feel like I can't get my size quite right. But, and I do have a little excess at the top where I didn't cut quite straight, but that I can um, fix. So, all right, we are going to try to And I don't want to like use my squeegee or anything because I don't want to um, scratch up my glitter any further. So I'm just going to kind of hand pull and roll in place. And 
I'm actually going to leave the stainless at the top and the bottom of this one. I'm not going to do anything to it. And I do have to pick this up and not just drop it because um, that will definitely scratch my glitter. And I feel like I'm creeping up, so I could be way off by the time I get around. Like I said, I'm still a little bit wide, so my seam's not perfect, but that was pretty close, so I'll take it. All right, so how I'm going to clean that up is I'm going to take my cutter. All right, so I'm going to have to be very careful to not scratch. But, and hopefully that is tall enough to at least cut and I'm not going to drag this on the edge I'm just going to do it through the center and I'm going to make sure I go at least once around and let's see if that cut so Somewhat, I'm going to go around again. But that gives you such a nice crisp edge. So I'll bring my epoxy all the way to the top. The bottom, I'm going to tape off the very bottom rim. But I want this evened up. But I actually... <sighs> That's such a small piece that I am not even going to run it through the edge trimmer if I can find my X-Acto knife. I will just trim it with that. So I am just going to kind of at an angle just trim that to even. Voila! Okay, time to get some resin on here. I have 30 mLs mixed up. I might not use quite all of it because I'm not doing the bottom, but um, I still might just because. This is the Artistry Epoxy Fast Set. I would show it to you, but I moved it aside and I have resin on my hand now. So... I love how this epoxy worked on the first tumbler I used it on. Um, so, super happy with it. Definitely different for me, personally, mixing a thick viscosity again. But, um, I really like the way it settled in and over the glitter. And very, very pleased with it overall. It is another facet that says it is good for all coats, so that is also nice. So there you go. I will be back in probably about a half hour. We'll peel the tape and I will give you a close up then. All right, I'm going to get the tape off. I am absolutely covered in glitter. I am working on the next one of these, but I did want to make sure I remembered to come back and get this. So, again, I'm going to have to tape off every single coat of epoxy, which isn't a big deal as long as I remember to pull it. But 
essentially this is done I'm gonna watch that come around one time and I'm gonna get that little tab if there even was one on this there might not have been right here you get a little line where your tape overlaps usually so I'm gonna bring you down and let you see it and that'll be a wrap on this one isn't that so stinking pretty I absolutely love it I really like that background color I used over the aqua vinyl so there you go another burst tumbler in the books using shape tape from artistry epoxy my seam is not perfect but it is not terrible i will take it so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one